Hey guys! Last year we made a video on how to get Pirate Legend fast, but as the world keeps changing, so does Sea of Thieves. We're back again with a new updated video on how to get Pirate Legend fast and in an efficient way. Some of you have requested a new video, so here we go! In Sea of Thieves we have 6 trading companies that are currently in-game. The Reaper's Bones, Gold Hoarders, Order of Souls, Merchant Alliance, Hunter's Call and the Sea Dogs. The good news is, you only need 3 of the 6 companies at level 50 to get that famous Pirate Legend title and cosmetics. Before the Ships of Fortune update, we had to grind the skeleton forts because the hull had a lot of loot for the Order of Souls, Gold Hoarders and Merchant in one place. But with the new update, things have changed and you will get legend really quick by using the new emissary system. If you're new to the game and don't know what the emissary is, it's a bonus multiplier for both gold and rep. The higher grade you get when representing a trading company, the more rep and gold you will get by delivering loot to them. The bonus you get is as follows. Grade 1 is the same as a normal value, Grade 2 is 1.33 times the normal value, Grade 3 is 1.67 times the normal value, Grade 4 is 2 times the normal value, and Grade 5 is 2.5 times the normal value. If you want more info on how to start an emissary and how to level up your grades quickly, we recommend you to watch our video on the right of your screen because this video is about to get legend quick and not explaining the whole emissary system all over again. If you're a solo player, we recommend you to do the Gold Hoarders, Order of Souls and Merchant. They are the easiest to level up by yourself. To level these quickly, you need to raise the emissary flag and get your grade to 5 as soon as possible. Again, you can check our video on the right how to do this. When you are grade 5, you go to the outpost and sell all the loot you have collected. Then go claim your emissary quest. If you saw our 6 steps to success tactic, you know you have the option to raise or lower the emissary flag before you start the special quest. Our advice is, only lower the flag when you'll be playing for a very long time. You'll miss some rep because your grades will reset to level again. But when you complete the emissary quest, you will be almost grade 5 again and you'll have the option to get another emissary quest once you've reached grade 5. This way you can keep grinding it and still get a lot of reputation. But if you don't have a lot of time, you'll have to do the emissary quest with the grade 5 flag still up and sell everything at grade 5. This way you just won't have the option again to claim another quest. If you stop playing, do not forget to lower the flag because it will give you extra rep and 5k gold. This system works for Order of Souls, Gold Hoarders and Merchant. For Merchant you need to grind the cargo runs. Collecting animals takes a lot more time, so stick with the cargoes. If you prefer to do Reaper's Bones, this is also an option. You can sell any kind of loot to them, but you'll get the most rep for them with loot like the stronghold chests and skulls you get from the forts and fleets. Or if you're lucky, you'll get them by killing random skeleton ships or even by killing megalodons. Collecting reaper's chests also give decent reputation. The better the loot, the better the reputation you'll get. Just keep in mind you won't get a special emissary quest once you've reached grade 5. So if you feel comfortable doing the forts alone or when you always play with a crew, you can always pick this option. You can level it quickly with a crew by doing the world events and PvPing. We just don't think it's the fastest way when you're playing alone. Ok, so we know we have some dedicated sea dog people among us who love to play arena. It's an option, yes, but we all know it's not the fastest way and this is what this video is about. This faction doesn't have an emissary and you won't win all your games for that it's not the fastest way. Then the last company, the Hunter's Call. Please do not pick this one. It's really slow to level and who wants to spend a whole day fishing, right? 
It's the worst pick of them all if you want to grind for Pirate Legend. They also don't have an emissary flag, so no double wrap or gold. So yeah guys, the fast ones to grind are the Gold Hoarders, Order of Souls, Merchant and Reaper's Bones while representing them with the emissary. Grind that special quest or keep going on Grade 5. Pick up any loot you can find on your way and you'll be able to open that fancy legend hideout inside the tavern. If you liked the video, you can always support us by liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and see you next time! Shiver me timbers! Arr. Fast, you scary.